Yo, what's up, guys? It's Atrix here. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at the biggest update in terms of PlayStation 3 emulation on Android. And yes, it's finally now possible because Anstation PS3 emulator for Android is 100% back. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at its first UI looks along with gameplay performance. But before getting started, if you guys are new here, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification, and here's our today's Google Play Store gift card redeem code giveaway, which I'm doing daily on my channel. So if you also want to win this give away then you just have to be the first one to watch my videos for that simply subscribe and turn on all notification with that being said let's get started the start of 2024 has been a year of lot of ups and downs in terms of emulation on android so many emulators development were completely stopped such as cassia emulator yuzu emulator citra emulator many of them were also taken down officially and it was a complete l in terms of emulation but finally guys things are looking great because right here is the first ui test of the anstation PS3 emulator for Android. Now, Anstation 3 is a ported version of our PCS3 emulator running on Android devices. This is not a direct port by any means. This is just a workaround to get this emulator working on Android devices. I'll explain more about it later on in this video. But 2024 is no longer a L in terms of Android emulation. We got first ever stable Windows emulation on Android from emulators like WinLater Android and Horizon Emulator. We now also have the Anstation PS3 emulator. Now quickly let me tell you guys that Anstation 3 is basically Blackhawk PS3 emulator for Android. It has been rebranded once again. The developer has also created his own uh, GitHub page for updating all the information of Anstation PS3 emulator for Android. But if we just go ahead and scroll down, good news started from Monday this week. So first of all, you will be able to see that if we try running our PCS3 emulator on Android with a Wine based Windows emulator, the FPS results were pretty low and we were getting around 5 FPS according to the developer. Whereas if we try the Linux version or the Anstation PS3 emulator version of our PCS3, the FPS has gone up to 22 FPS which is pretty amazing. So a lot of gain in terms of FPS which means that the performance is no longer an issue. The device in which it was tested was IQ Z5 with Snapdragon 778 processor. So obviously it goes without saying you need a high-end Android device to emulate PS3 games on Android. But if we just go ahead and scroll down there are more updates of Anstation PS3 emulator. For example, we have a Sonic Adventure gameplay, I'll take a look at it later on in this video. The FPS was 10 FPS during gameplay and 20 to 40 during the intro and here are the device specification once again IQ Z5 with Snapdragon 778G processor. But if we just go ahead and scroll down the developer has also started working on the application in our Blackhawk PS3 emulator update video we saw that the developer uh, was working on the UI of Anstation PS3 emulator. The UI improvements are very easy to understand. We got the socials of the developer and if we just go ahead and scroll down you'll also see uh, the RPCSC branding along with the play button and the alpha build uh, which the developer is currently testing out and it is a long way to go until it has been publicly released for testing. Nonetheless, this is some amazing progress because we can now choose resolution, enable show FPS option, there is a loading screen and the RPCS3 emulator works on our Android devices. The developer has also made a video showcasing the UI which I'll show you guys in just a bit. But yeah, if we just go ahead and scroll down, uh, ISO is also working so Minecraft as you guys will be able to see has been added in Anstation PS3 emulator and to be honest the UI is looking super clean and if we scroll down we have some results etc. Nonetheless let's start taking a look at the Anstation PS3 emulator UI. So to start off we get the resolution option as well as show FPS there are three resolution modes and obviously there will be a lot more improvements in future. Uh, and this has been posted by the official developer of Anstation PS3 emulator as you will be able to see. This is the alpha testing and it is genuine uh, workaround for the RPCS3 emulator. It's not a fake project for anyone who was thinking this is probably fake. Uh, you guys will be able to see that it is terminal based so obviously it will open I think in Termux X11 and it is similar to Ryujin's mobile by the way and uh, once the emulator gets opened you will notice as I mentioned before Termux X11 based so Termux X11 has successfully started and I actually know a fix for this small UI you basically have to change the resolution settings uh, in the Termux app as well as enable full screen mode and as I mentioned before it is Linux based so it's just like the Ryujin's mobile uh, workaround which we saw I guess about two weeks ago I still have to to make a setup video on it and it will be coming pretty soon but if you just go ahead and take a look at the gameplay posted by the developer unfortunately it is in very low resolution like 360p uh, but still it has been zoomed in and you will be able to notice that sonic adventure has successfully started and is properly working that's the main part because 
Games will obviously boot but just take a look at this 3D world areas it has properly booted it is also uh, being rendered no graphical issues and the gameplay quality is very acceptable for the early stages of development. So in my opinion I am very impressed with the Anastation PS3 emulator project. The developer is indeed very dedicated even though he is uh, young. So huge props to him and I want the development of this emulator to go on so that we have something to look forward to in 2025. Speaking of release date Anastation 3 doesn't really have a specific release date but the developer has mentioned that you can expect a beta version by the end of 2024 within the next few months so obviously i'll be covering that on my channel so simply be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notifications to stay up to date with all the latest emulation updates anyways that was everything about the anstation ps3 emulator thanks for watching goodbye